This is part one in a series of videos for Push Publishing. The Push Publishing feature is released in .CMS 2.5 and above. There was some beta functionality in version 2.3. What we're looking at here today is uh, version 2.5.1, which is soon, soon to be released as of the recording of this video. What I have set up here are two .CMS installs. Now, I'm running one, as you can see here in Chrome, and this, this one is running with Postgres in the background. I'm running a second one on a Windows server. Uh, this first one is running uh, here in, in Mac uh, on the Windows server, and the Windows side is running MySQL. They could be the same database on both ends. They could be the different databases, even as you can see in this case, different operating systems. Now, I have not set up anything yet. I'm going to, in this first video, we're going to actually set the configuration up, and you'll be able to observe how, how to do that. Push Publishing is trying to solve what we would call at .CMS a share nothing configuration. What this means is my assets, uh, the nothing on the file system, uh, the database, everything is separate. They're really two separate installs. In theory, we can have an install in one data center or server in one location and a server in a totally different location where other than being able to connect to each other via HTTP, HTTP uh, or HTTPS, these servers have no site to one another. They can't see each other. They don't share anything. And, and that's what the type of environment we're looking at. Now, this is different than the standard .CMS cluster environment where you share a database, you share the assets, and things are, are kept in sync like the cache and stuff over, over the network. So this is a little different take on that. And there are ways you can combine those two different environments. So let's see how to configure this. What I'm going to be doing is the Chrome ser the server I'm running here in Chrome on my Mac, I'm going to set him up to push towards the other server. Now both of these servers are running an enterprise license, which is required for push publishing. Now again, this, this one I'm running here in Chrome, which is running on my Mac, uh, is going to be the server, the, what we call the sending server. So think of him as the author server, and he's sending to the other server. Now, there's nothing to say that we could not have this go two ways. There's nothing to say he couldn't send to the other server and then the other server send back to him. But in this case, we're going to set up a little simpler. We're just going to send from this server to the other server. So we're going to send to, let's call it Windows Server. We'll say Live Windows Server. I now get to select who can push here. So this gives me the ability to say to start controlling permissions. And I can select a group of roles that have the ability to push here. So this way, if you don't, are not allowed to push to the Windows Server, you won't even see the option come up to push publish. I'm not going to select anyone right now. I'm just going to operate as the admin. The admin can always do it. But this is a, you can select multiple users here. Okay, for what it's worth, you see that here. In addition to that, we can select the push mode. Now, the push mode is one of two options. I push to one server or all server. Now, once we set the environment up, we need to configure servers in that environment. And that's what this is asking. This is asking if I have five servers or three servers configured in the one environment, when I go to push publish, do I push to all of those servers separately? So maybe they're a bunch of share nothing servers as well? Or are those servers maybe in a cluster? And if they're in a cluster, all I need to do is push to all... Put just put or excuse me. In that case, I would push to one of those servers in the first server. In the first situation where they're all share nothings, I would do a push to all servers. In my case, I'm just going to say push to all servers as opposed to one. Now I'm only setting up one server, so it's not a big deal. But still, it's important to understand this configuration. Now let's add a server. I'm going to say server name is Windows VM, because I'm running my Windows on a virtual machine on the other side. Now, I have to put in his address. 
Now, my, my IP address here is 10.1.0.58, and that's what I'm going to put in. Now, we could see that here I am in Windows, and I have 10.0.1.58. So actually, let's correct that. 10.1.0.58. Now, he's running on port 80, and I'm going to give him a key. Now, you can also provide a path on the file system. Uh, this would be an absolute path to a text file that contains the key. It would just be a normal text file that contains the key. But in, in this case, I'm just going to give it the token. And I'm going to make it up. I'm just going to do four ones in this case. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, I'm going to go on the other side and configure the server to where he can receive from in a minute. But there is something to know here. When we set up push publishing, and you're going to see this in later videos, we push to environments, not individually to servers. So whenever you're browsing the system and you say, oh, I want to push this piece of content, you're going to push it to an environment. So first you set up the environment, and then you add servers to that environment. But you need to do both things. So now let's go back to the Windows side here. And I'm going to go to the configuration. And I'm going to go to publishing environment. I'm going to say, who are you received from? Because if I don't sell, if I don't tell him who he can receive from, then it's not going to work. I'm going to say the Mac server, and now I need to give him my Mac server's address, so we can we can get that right here. And I'm 10.0.1.79. And I'm going to put the same off token in, 1111. And of course, I'm leaving him enabled. So not as much to configure here. This isn't related to the environment or anything. This is just checking. When you send me what we call a bundle, so in Push Publishing, you're going to learn that term. This is going to be a term called a bundle, and you'll see that in these later videos. When you send a bundle, who's allowed to send me a bundle? Who's allowed to post a bundle to me? Who's allowed to, to, to make a request and give me this zip file? And so that's what it's looking at here. Are, are you who you say you are? Uh, and then does this auth token check out? So I'm going to click Save. This is how we set up Push Publishing. We have this sending server here, set up an environment and a server, and again, you push to environments. And then secondly, we have to go to the, the end that's going to receive, or the, 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 going to receive this bundle, and also tell them this person's allowed to push to you, or this server's allowed to push to you, and this is the auth token that it should be providing you. You'll see more in the, in, the few, in the following videos as we will start to cover how to actually push content and so forth.